things finally coming down. All eyes continue to be on this bell tower. That is what's left of St. Patrick's Church here in Waterville, and it is finally coming down, albeit very, very slowly this noon. Well, crews brought in, they had to bring in a massive crane. They started to rip apart the top part of the bell tower early this morning. That's where I was. This is actually the third attempt to take it down since the demolition began about a month ago. Most of the church is gone. Crews spent the past two weeks trying to take down the tower. They used cables and smaller cranes the first two times, but the cables snapped under the strength of the tower. That's when they brought in the bigger crane with a claw. <laughs> Work was delayed again yesterday after police say someone tampered with a fuel tank of that crane. They're still searching for the suspect. Meanwhile, residents who fought the, to prevent that demolition have been here every day, and they say that it's more painful to watch the tower come down piece by piece. It's going to be heartbreaking because the whole structure of the city, not the structure, but the landscape of the city is going to change. And like I said to you before, I mean, I sit at my bedroom window and look out, and this is what I see. And now I'm going to have a price chopper to look at. I'd rather look at the tower. And you can already see the top part of the church. Part of it is ripped off already, so the landscape here is starting to change. And also, the, the um, rectory has already been torn down. It was torn down yesterday. The school is next after the tower is taken down. They're taking this church down to make way for a supermarket and also a shopping area. Benita? All right, Dan, thanks so very much. A 20-year-old.